Hello Power Users, Zbigniew Fukowski here and today we will be talking about Compose Actions versus Variables in Power Automate. We will see what are the similarities, what are the differences, when you should use one or the other, in which situation they are not suited well for your needs and we will also talk a little bit about alternatives uh, like JSON or like environment via variable which uh, you need to also consider when using uh, variables okay so let's start Zbigniew Fukowski in okay so first major difference is that when you are using the variable, it need to be initialized. Well, when the compose action uh, can be set in the first action, you you may remember that if you have the initialized variable action, then you can set the value already, so it can be used uh, in the first occurrence when you are using the variable. But remember, if you are not changing the variable var value, why to use variable? On, in the first place, you are free to use compose then. Both initialize a variable and compose can be used multiple times. They aren't uh, limited to one use. You can both reuse them when you are uh, working with the flow. If you are initializing variable, please initialize them in the top level of your flow. This will improve the, the visibility. However, if you need more than one compost, I strongly suggest you to use the JSON inside of one, one compost action. I have an, another full video on this topic, so you can look, look at my channel and find it there if you need uh, further information. Second, the variable is typed when compost is not, so you, you need to secure the the type of your variable for example if you are using text and you will secure the string type then if you are uh, trying to pass an object there or array you will get an error so this is important when in compose action you can just toss anything you like their object in integer or or a string and it will it will be working because the compose action you need to understand that this is like a snapshot of the current value which you are holding when the variable you need to secure the memory for the, the the certain type so compose will be a lighter action overall and if you are using many composes in one to one json then this will be probably the most efficient uh, solution in many cases uh, next thing is a uh, is about grouping because if you are using the dynamic content the variables which are created here will be on under the same the same tab when if you have multiple composes let me show you them you will get them each one by one in a different tab so it may be more annoying with this solution that variables you have the clean aesthetic one tab for, for all of them next thing is uh, if you are using the variables which are uh, set as a counter of some sort and you are using them in apply to each scenario in which you are incrementing them inside apply to each loop and you will use the the concurrency control to the setting to on then this solution will fail because they will be loaded in the same time and it may end up uh, that the condition will be not satisfied because your counter is floating between the, the occurrences of your apply to each function so remember don't use the variable inside apply to each and don't increment that variable if your concurrency is on. Next thing is about the testing. Compose action is great for the testing purposes. And if I have my function apply to each, then if this flow fails, I can show you what happens. Let me get this flow history. 
this fail, great. And if my flow fails, I will get no information about the object on which it failed if I am not using the compose action with this current item object secured inside. So here I have all information about my object and from this I can de debug this uh, pretty decently and if I do not use the compose action, at least not in my testing environment, because on your production environment, you may need to omit this, uh, this part to lower the licenses costs. If I'm not using this, then I have no information about the object, which is over or very bad for my debugging uh, possibilities. And you should probably avoid this scenario. Okay, so we are where what, what we are at. Variables are typed when Compose is not. Variables need to be initialized. Variables share the same tab. Variables, uh, all of them need to, can be used. All of the, the, the Compose action and variables can be used many times. I want to also uh, mention about environment variable, which is a special kind of variable, and you should use it if you are uh, using the ALM and you are having, for example, dev environment, test environment, and production environment. If you are using them and you want, you are using, for example, an email variable and then changing this email depending on what, what environment you are on, then you should secure the environment variable, which environment variable will be just changed once uh, between your environments, not all the time inside the flow, or God forbid, you are using the uh, the plain text inside as an email. So those are mistakes, and you should avoid it. Remember about the environment variable, and also remember about the JSON, which is a possible option for you if you are using many compose actions. I have the, uh, another video on this. Yeah, this is it. Those are the basics about the compose actions and variables. I hope it was it was informative and you uh, uh, gained some more knowledge and you will use them wise more wisely in, uh, right now. So speaking of Fukowski out. See you.